Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Crazy Joy, a creation by Mary Catherine Backstrom. Crazy Joy, 2022, delves into the essence of joy. By exploring philosophy, humor, and faith, it guides you in uncovering your own distinctive joy and fostering it, even during life's most challenging circumstances. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Mary Catherine Backstrom is a renowned writer, with her books Holy Hot Mess and Mom Babble being widely acclaimed. Her writings predominantly revolve around topics such as faith, motherhood, and mental health, and she consistently publishes new content on these subjects. With four key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On storyplained.net. To start, the text is encouraging the reader to find joy in the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties. It suggests that by shifting their perspective and embracing the unpredictable nature of life, they can experience happiness. The difference between happiness and joy is likened to the difference between a rose and a weed. Happiness is precious but finicky, while joy is resilient and can grow anywhere, even in less than ideal conditions. Mary Catherine Backstrom shares her experiences and insights on cultivating joy in life through humor, stories, popular culture, and philosophy. This exploration aims to provide a new understanding of joy. Key idea number one. The text does not provide any key points or information to summarize. It is a simple greeting wishing someone joy. Perfection is not necessary for happiness. The pursuit of perfection can hinder it. Chasing external factors like social status and wealth doesn't lead to lasting happiness. Avoiding pain and discomfort leads to avoiding life. Joy is found in the journey of life, which includes both ups and downs. Hardships like fear, insecurity, and even death can be sources of joy if one changes their mindset. Joy and hardships are like forces with equal and opposite reactions. It's important to embrace both joy and the counterforces in life. Key idea number two. The thief of comparison refers to the negative effects that comparing oneself to others can have on one's mental health and overall well-being. Comparison often leads to feelings of inadequacy, jealousy, and low self-esteem. It is important to focus on self-acceptance and personal growth rather than constantly comparing oneself to others. The author discusses how comparison can often lead to feelings of inadequacy and steal joy. They mention a study that found 12% of our thoughts are comparisons. The author shares a personal example of how they compared themselves to others in their baking skills. They highlight the negative thoughts that often accompany these comparisons. The author suggests accepting oneself and treating oneself with kindness and compassion. They encourage the reader to try treating themselves like a good friend and see how it feels. Key idea number three. Death is the ultimate killjoy in life. It is the one certainty that waits for everyone and puts an end to all joy and happiness. It is a sober reminder that our time on earth is limited, and no matter how much we achieve or how happy we are, death will eventually catch up to us. It is an ever-present shadow that looms over us, reminding us to make the most of the time we have and appreciate the moments of joy while we can. In the face of death, we must find meaning and purpose in life and cherish the people and experiences that bring us happiness. The protagonist, M.K., strikes up a conversation with a stranger who recommends Friedrich Nietzsche as a philosopher to check out for her research on joy. Initially skeptical, M.K. discovers wisdom about joy in Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra. The book explores the idea that despite the meaninglessness of life, joy is still worth pursuing. M.K. reflects on the fear of mortality and how it shouldn't hold us back from experiencing the deep joys of life. M.K. also connects this concept to a game show, Supermarket Sweep, that taught her the importance of focusing on what truly matters in life. Ultimately, accepting mortality can help us find joy and prioritize the things we value most. Key idea number four. 
This text explores the idea of navigating through competitive and challenging environments. It discusses the importance of adapting and using strategy in order to succeed. The text is about the experiences of MK and her husband Ian, who is a surfer. MK is not surprised to find Ian watching a film about Jay Moriarty, a surfer who trained to surf the dangerous Mavericks break in California. The training involved holding his breath for a long time, as surviving in the chaotic waves requires this skill. Jay gets trapped in the waves but manages to survive and continue surfing. The story serves as a metaphor for taking risks and conquering fears in order to find joy. MK witnesses Ian's fearless attitude when he continues to surf despite the presence of sharks in the water. Joy is described as crazy but exhilarating. In conclusion, true happiness does not come from having a perfect life but from embracing the ups and downs. Stop trying to meet impossible standards and accept your mortality. Embrace the craziness of life and celebrate your uniqueness. Find joy in taking risks and know that even if you fall, it is worth it. Welcome to Crazy Joy. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.